Now let's see this question. There are five person P, Q, R, S, T, each one of whom has to be assigned one task. So each one is assigning one task. So there are five persons, so five tasks. Okay. So there are five tasks. Neither P nor Q can be assigned task one. Task two must be assigned to either R or S. In how many ways we can ass assignment be done? See, this question is from previous year questions, right? So this question is asked in 2015. And as you all know, I covered it in our videos. So, you know, videos they hai. So, they got 2.5 marks, right? Directly. So, many students, kafi logo ne students ne mujhe bataya ki unko sahi question hi aata. Unko even answer tak aata, right? So, let's do it. So, there are how many tasks? Five tasks. Right. So, now task T1 is not assigned to P or Q. So, it can be assigned to either R, S or T. Task 2 must be assigned to either R or S. So, this will be assigned to R or S. Task 3 can be assigned to anyone, right? Task 4 B. So, there is no condition for task 3, 4 and 5. Now, first of all, we will assign task to this one. So, there are two people and we have to assign. We have to choose one out of them. So, this will be 2 C1, right? Now, here, there are three, but one is assigned to R or S we already assign here, right? So, there will be remaining two. So, out of two, we will choose one, right? So, now two people already got the task. Now, we are having three people. So, out of three, one will be selected for task three, right? So, now two are remaining. So, out of two, one will be selected for task four. Now, the one is remaining. So, that one person will come on the task five, right? So, the total number of ways will be 2 into 2 into 3 into 2, right? So, this will be 4 into 3, 12, 12 into 2. So, this is 24. So, the answer is option D.